Scott Peterson brought out uh, his defense team in full force for a court appearance for the final arguments in his case earlier today. This appearance was set up in a possible retrial in his murder case. Granon's Amy Larson is in Redwood City with an update. Scott Peterson had another day in court today here at the San Mateo County Courthouse, and his fight for a retrial took one more step forward. The Stanislaus County District Attorney and the defense attorneys were setting a timeline for when an evidentiary hearing will be held for Scott Peterson. We believe very strongly that the evidentiary hearing is going to prove what we've said all along, that Scott Peterson did not get a fair trial. Scott Peterson says he did not get a fair trial because of juror misconduct, and his defense team is going to present evidence of juror misconduct during the evidentiary hearing. The juror who is accused of lying is named Rochelle Neese. She was known as Strawberry Shortcake during the 2004 murder trial. Stanislaus County District Attorney Bridget Flatiger says Scott Peterson's defense team has gone on a witch hunt against this juror. Today, I was able to ask defense attorney Pat Harris what he thought about this witch hunt term, and Harris threw the term right back at the district attorney. I think the Stanislaus County DA's office using the term witch hunt is a little ironic, given the fact that they have put on a 16-year witch hunt against Scott Peterson. Uh, I think it is somewhat difficult uh, for us to understand why they don't want the truth to come out. Uh, we find it very difficult to understand why they wouldn't as prosecutors and as their role to do justice, why they wouldn't want the information about Rochelle Neese to come out. Uh, we are perplexed by that and don't understand why it is that they continue to fight this when all we are trying to do is get at the truth. Uh, we have no understanding of why their position is to continue to try and obfuscate and delay when some of these facts are very clear, they're very obvious. The prosecution themselves provided some of these facts in their own declarations, and now they're backtracking on their own evidence. So for them to accuse the defense of a witch hunt is uh, somewhat ironic, as I said. I'm Amy Larson reporting for Cron 4 News from the San Mateo County Courthouse.